Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to be having a look at uh, another machine in the MineChem process uh, this is the chemical synthesis machine now what this is going to do, it's going to take those components and allow you to uh, put them back together again and make other things uh, so it's going to accept your your base materials, your elements allow you to turn them into compounds and then put those compounds together to make other things. Now it, as part of the process of doing that it's going to require a lot of build craft power uh, which we'll have a look at in a moment and what we have here is it's a similar process to uh, a lot of the other um, machines like the carpenter and things like that. You basically paint your your recipe into the top here and it is just painted it's not they're not real items that you put in uh, if you left click it puts the whole stack in if you right click it's only going to put one um, and if you right click multiple times you can increase it um, this bottom area is for your input this is your inventory if you like uh, a bit smaller than uh, the inventories on other similar machines whether that's going to stay like that I'm not sure but uh, what you will find is that you uh, quickly use up lots and lots of test tubes so uh, they take up quite a bit of space uh, it's also got a slot here for your chemist journal now your chemist journal uh, if we have a look at it I've actually plugged in some recipes onto this one already and what we can do is we can pick a recipe like wool for instance uh, this is going to tell us that we've got 6% chance for that and then it's got a recipe there for the synthesis machine as well now if we put this in the synthesis machine with our recipe selected it's going to bring that recipe into the, the synthesis machine for you so you don't need to paint it in and it's going to tell you what the output is as well uh, the bottle slot here is actually the output slot so um, in addition to getting your wool output you're also going to get your empty test tubes back uh, so it, that's a good thing to bear in mind because uh, all of these test tubes that you've got you will be able to get back um, so although you're using a lot they are recyclable now as for, as for power uh, this is going to have a maximum usage of 200 mj which is an awful lot of power that is that that is like that's a lot of power that's 200 sterling engines to put that in perspective um, 40 biogas engines running on biomass it's taking a lot of power um, so this is definitely something that you're going to be using later on and that is the balancing aspect of this whole thing is the amount of power it uses and as for making the synthesis machine we're going to take one of those atomic manipulators that we made before put iron down the sides, a diamond underneath and a redstone on top and that manipulator is made with pistons around a block of iron now I've got another microscope here but I don't think we're really going to use that um, I basically I've got this and as you can see it's using power at quite a rate so I might need to go and replace that um, that redstone energy cell before we get going because um, it's using quite a lot now let's pick a nice well let's pop that in now you probably know some some recipes uh, by default anyway one of them you'll know is it's probably H2 put them in and an oxygen there we go so that's going to give us water fairly simple probably one everybody knows so let's pull out our water so we now have a water drop that in there and let's clear that out now if we have a look in our in our book what can we make with water well where there's a water bottle a water bottle needs 8 water a water bucket needs 16 water uh, which is interesting because it's got iron in the water bucket so once you empty that water bucket you can uh, you can reclaim that iron in uh, 
using red power. So there, there are some things that still need balancing, that being one of them, definitely. Um, there's a melon. Melon takes one water. Oh, we've got one water. One water and 100 MJ. So uh, let's try that. There we go. So we've just turned our two hydrogen and one oxygen into a melon slice. How about that? Um, there's also let's have a, a pick out a different recipe um, like like the wool we can have glycine and titanium oxide so let's pop that in there uh, so it's painted our recipe in there already for us so we just need to put one glycine in there and and it's interesting to note that you can't pull that wool out until you've got all your components in there and the other is titanium oxide so actually let's pop that in there and now we can pull our wool and you'll notice that as we pull it out we're getting two test tubes back because we're using two test tubes up and all the while this is consuming consuming quite a lot of power uh, that's going down at as you can see quite a rate and this is only set to up at 50 mj at the moment i mean we can up that to 200 uh the fact that this will this will take up to 200 means that uh this is only half the power that it can take as maximum so it's actually going to use two full but um and it's actually storing all of that power at the moment as well now one thing that I think these machines could probably use is is a power bar because I how how much power you want to store in a machine I I don't really know uh, but as you can see I mean we're up to 600,000 MJ's being stored in there at the moment it's just eating it it's more energy in this machine right now than there is in a full storage cell um, so I would like to think there's a limit on that, but as this mod is in development, it's possible that this isn't this isn't fixed, and this may be a test value or something like that. I would like to think, but then the power is is really high anyway. And the energy per item that will change depending on what item you put in there. So uh, if we go back to our H two O again. Our oh, energy per item there is 50 again, but sometimes it will be more. Um, I think we could put four, four. So that's I thought that was something. Obviously not. that's going to make glass and that's 500 MJ per item so as you can see this tab does update and tell you exactly how much power you're going to need to put in uh, for the various things but obviously with silicon and oxygen you can get that from cobble um, and then eventually turn it into glass which to be fair you could probably do if you were going to macerate your cobble and then cook it in a furnace it's still going to use power and it's just going to use power to do it as well uh, so there we go, there's the synthesis machine. Um, now obviously there are things you can make uh, if you just have a look at the journal. I've added in like the diamond there. The diamond, as you can see, you're going to need four stacks of carbon um, to make a full ring and then four full ring to make a diamond and 60,000 MJ. So it's a lot of buildcraft power and 16 stacks of carbon is going to give you your diamond pretty much so quite expensive um, but as you'll find out there are things that have got quite a lot of carbon in them that you can decompose to try and get diamonds so this is a way to make diamonds as well so there we go hope you enjoy the synthesizer another very useful machine from Minechem and hopefully uh, it will uh, it will all get worked out and all the, the little exploits that are still in here at the moment uh, will get worked out so it will be uh, a very very good 
way to exchange items for other items. So there we go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.